Hey, welcome to this week's Steam Culture. We're going to talk about pole vaulting. Now, the history of pole vaulting, according to the internet, is that in Europe, men would pole vault over rivers and canals where there was no bridge. Well, fast forward to the 1800s, it actually became a college sport where they would use bamboo poles. Well, not anymore. Now they use, you know, manufactured fancy material poles. But most of us are familiar with pole vaulting from the Olympics. I mean, we don't, there's not a lot of pole vaulting on TV, right? Every four years, Summer Olympics, we get to see people jumping incredible heights. The world record is actually over 20 feet. Well, to do that, you need a pole that's strong and flexible enough and lightweight enough to do that. Um, or else it looks like this. <laughs> now, a lot of pole vaults are made out of fiberglass, and this particular fiberglass is impregnated with resin. That will come in later. What they do is they take long rolls of that fiberglass and they cut it into these strips and they put it on this special spiral winding machine and they send it down one way, wind it around, and then they send it back the other way. Now these particular strips are what's going to give the, uh, the pole its flexibility and strength so that it doesn't break. Now after that, they're going to get a sheet that is the length of the pole. They're going to wrap it around and then is where the steam comes in. So the pole that they're wrapping around is called a mandrel. It's a hollow steel, basically pipe, if you will, that has two steam connections on the end. Once they get all that fiberglass wrapped around, they're going to send it to an oven to cure, which is basically just a large tube that gets injected with steam. They start out at around 175 degrees to sort of, uh, they say saturate the resin, basically means to liquefy it. And then they take the temperature up to around 300 degrees so that the resin fully cures uh, that pole. So they let it cool and when they take it out, they use a special machine that pulls the mandrel out from the middle, leaving the fiberglass pole. And that's how fiberglass pole vaults are made. And you know that because you watch Steam Culture. Now, you wanna see some awesome athletic feats, Google pole vaulting. Uh, you can also Google pole vault fails um, to see things like this. Yikes, that looks painful. You know what's not painful? Go into our website and getting content that we have for you each and every week. So go Google us and find us. We got something for you each and every week. In the meantime, don't try pole vaulting because it's dangerous looking. Just watch other people do it. See you next week.